On this video we're taking a look at our NHL parlay for the games that are happening on Friday, March 4, 2022. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Our first parlay pick is, New Jersey Devils vs Rangers. Rangers win. The New Jersey Devils wrap up a two-game road trip on Friday night when they play the New York Rangers. The Devils have struggled of late, as they have only four wins in their last 15 games, which has them battling the Flyers to avoid last place in the Metropolitan Division. The Rangers are a modest 3-2-0 in their last five games, but have played well at home in recent weeks, going 7-2-1 at Madison Square Garden in their last 10 games. The Devils come into this game as heavy underdogs and rightfully so. New York has been among the hottest teams in the NHL of late, and Shesterkin has been a major reason why. The Rangers netminder leads the NHL in save percentage and ranks second in the league in goals against average. Meanwhile, the Devils will be sending Gillies to patrol the crease in this matchup, which doesn't bode well for their chances on the road here. He's given up six goals in back-to-back -back games and 19 combined goals over his last four games. Take New York to cover the puck line in this matchup on Thursday. Offensively, the Devils have the advantage, that is how they have to win games. They rank 9th in expected goals, 14th in goals scored per game, and have lit the lamp 24 times in their last five. Compare those rankings to the Rangers, who rank 28th in expected goals and 18th in goals scored per game. Defense is the New York strength, especially in net. That can cancel out the Devils' attack. Even though both teams rank just below average in expected goals against, the Rangers rank 3rd in goals against per game, while the Devils rank 28th. This is all due to the starters for Friday night's showdown. New York is expected to have Igor Shesterkin between the pipes. He is number one in the league in goals saved above expected. The Devils don't have a goalie on their roster ranked above 50th in that department. Take the Rangers at home, they have the massive goaltending advantage. Our second pick is, Pittsburgh Penguins vs Carolina Hurricanes. Penguins win. And here is why. The Penguins and Hurricanes both play for the second consecutive night as the Penguins dismantled the Lightning in Tampa on Thursday, while the Hurricanes were shut out by the Capitals on the road. The Hurricanes beat the Penguins 4-3 in late February, but given the fact it's the Hurricanes' third game in the past four nights and the Penguins have been the much better team over the past week, Pittsburgh presents great value on the road and should pick up the win. The Penguins sit a couple points behind the Hurricanes in the Metropolitan Division, so they should have plenty of motivation coming into this game, especially after dropping their last head-to-head -head matchup in Pittsburgh. The Penguins have strung together three wins and are coming off an impressive beating over the Tampa Bay Lightning, where they control the game from start to finish. Given that it's a back-to-back -back situation, it's likely that star goalie Tristan Jerry sits on the bench for back of Casey Desmuth, however Desmuth is coming off a solid win over Columbus a couple nights ago and has been a serviceable backup. This is going to be a great game between two of the best teams in the NHL. The Hurricanes are looking to win on their home ice, but the Penguins look to even up the score from the previous meeting and find favorable matchups on both ends of the ice. The Penguins should find the back of the net throughout the game with Jake Gensel, Sidney Crosby, Brian Rust, and the rest of the forward unit crashing the net on the odd man rush and creating open shots with great puck moment in the offensive zone. The Penguins should also limit the Hurricanes' offense with Chris Letang, Brian Dumoulin, and the rest of the defensive unit, creating turnovers in the defensive zone and limiting passing lanes, allowing goaltender Casey Desmuth to make plenty of easy saves in the net. The Penguins should win the game and provide great odds in the process as road underdogs. The advantage Pittsburgh has in this game is on the other end of the ice, where Sidney Crosby and the rest of the forward group are buzzing. The Penguins rank towards the top of the league in offensive output, and not only are their stars such as Crosby and Malkin contributing at a high level, but their depth is playing a key factor as well. Opposing defenses are struggling to slow them down, and that's the exact issue Carolina is dealing with right now, as they're down two starting defensemen and have given up four goals in two straight games. This will be the Hurricanes' third game in four nights as well, which means fatigue could be a serious factor for them, and given that Frederick Anderson made the start in net on Thursday night, it's also likely that the Canes roll out back a panty Ronda. As dominant as Carolina has been at home this season, the Penguins are in much better form right now and have all the momentum heading into this game, so look for the visitors to pick up the road victory.
Our third pick is Dallas Stars vs Winnipeg Jets. Stars win. And here is why. The Dallas Stars have been playing very well of late as they come in having won 12 of their last 17, including their last two in a row. Dallas is in a FUGHT5 for a playoff spot, so they need to keep winning. The Stars are currently in the 8th spot in the Western Conference, but they also have the same amount of points as Edmonton, which is in the 9th spot. Dallas comes in off of a hard-fraught 4-3 home win over the Le Kings in a game that they trailed 3-1 at one point. Luke Lindening, 8, Jason Robertson, 23rd, Ryan Suter, 5th, and Alexander Radulov, 3rd, all scored in the win. Radulov's goal was the game winner, and it came in his 500th game. The offense has not been that good as they are 22nd in the league in scoring at 2.87 GPG. These teams are pretty similar, as evidenced by the fact that both head-to-head -head games this year have extended beyond regulation. However, Dallas appears to be more on an upward trajectory, while Winnipeg continues to struggle a little bit with consistency. The Jets are 3-3-1 in their last seven games. Winnipeg's wins during this stretch have come against Seattle, Arizona, and Montreal. The Jets' losses have been at the hands of Edmonton, Calgary, Dallas, and Colorado. Lately the Jets are beating bad teams over whom they are favored and losing to good teams when they are underdogs. Right now Winnipeg is not beating strong teams and Dallas qualifies as one since it currently sits in the playoff spot. The Stars are 7-2-1 in their last 10 games and they appear ready to make a run. They are just two seasons removed from getting to the Stanley Cup Finals and they know their window is still open just probably not as wide. If it is going to make another playoff run, Dallas must win these types of games. In head-to-head -head matchups this season the Stars have outscored and outshot the Jets. They enter this game in better form, having gone 5-1-1 in their last seven with wins over Los Angeles and Colorado, who are also part of the playoff picture. Dallas should show up ready to go and continue to ascend in the standings. Disclaimer, no financial advice, the information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. You should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory.